It's Monday. Um, I am trying to make some food real quick. I have to be out of here in less than 30 minutes and look at me right now. I got up at seven. I shouldn't say I got up. I woke up at seven and I was like, okay, I'm gonna get up so I can get a little workout in. I'm gonna feed all the animals, get all the cages misted, eat my breakfast. And no, no, did not happen. Every day before today, I've just been trying to basically sleep as much as I can because not only am I pregnant and I need my sleep, but obviously I've been really sad. Um, and mornings are really tough when Nick's not here because, you know, Leo and I had our routine and now he's just gone. So I've been trying to just kind of sleep in and, you know, sleep as much of the day away as I can basically. And then when I do get up, I've been trying to keep myself super busy. Um, it's been difficult, but I'm doing as well as I can be, I guess. Um, so this morning I'm gonna go to the chiropractor. I have to drop my car off for service. It needs like the headlights adjusted and just some other stuff, you know, like just boring car stuff. So thankfully they're giving me a loaner. I'm also going to get a massage today with Jenna. Um, she's who I do the podcast with. She does my hair a lot of the times with Brooklyn. Um, we were gonna drive the Bronco down to Oceanside to go get our massages and um, unfortunately, it's gonna rain today. So that idea is foiled. Um, basically just trying to take like a super mellow week this week, just like the rest of last week. Like we're going camping this weekend which I'm excited about. We have, I, since I bought that motorhome, we haven't taken it out once. So I think it'll be really nice to do that. Um, and uh, yesterday I went to go hang out with Nick um, downtown. He was working downtown Oceanside and like they didn't get a call for like three hours. So I just got to hang out with them. I brought Piper. Um, Went and got sandwiches and just got to hang out. It was actually really, really nice. So he's actually working down there today again. He's been working for the past two days. He'll be off tomorrow morning, which I'm excited for. It's been easier for me when Nick's here. Um, I don't know if I've showed you guys our stove, which I'll do, I need to do kind of like a little sweep of the area because it looks like a little bit different. Um, cause Nick moved the couch around and the TV around cause we're actually where it was before it was actually going to be the dining room. So pretty exciting stuff that everything's like finally kind of moving along and everything. Um, I watched a bunch of like built to birth videos last night and we've got our, oops, I don't know how to use this thing yet. Um, we've got our windows being delivered tomorrow, so I'm just gonna keep it really low key and mellow this week. Um, and pretty much just not force myself to do anything that I don't wanna do, which is not usual for me. Usually I'm always doing something working or pushing myself to do something that I don't really want to do because I need to get it done, but I'm not doing that this week. I don't want to like be like, oh, I just started a new face cream. What I am doing in We're trying to drink tons of water. Also, so we went to one of those boutique places called, uh, the one that we're going to is in Vista. It's called Blossom Baby. They're great. Um, that's the one place that I had the bad experience and then they like made up for it and was super nice. And they comped this last one too, which I did not know that they were going to do, which was super, super nice. Um, but apparently like our baby's legs are super long. Like she's apparently in the night. I don't know how you say this properly or exactly what it means. I need Nick to explain it to me. I feel like a dumb dumb, but apparently she's in like the 93rd percentile for like how long her legs are right now. So she's gonna be a little string bean. Um, I was totally a string bean, string bean when I was little. My grandpa used to call me Boney Maroney. Um, my dad used to call me Mowgli. 
So I would just run around with just underwear on <laughs> with super long gangly legs. But I'm five eight and a half. I just say five nine because I'm so close to it. And Nick's like six one. So I guess we're gonna see how tall she is, but apparently she has really long legs and um, her belly's kind of big right now, they said too. Like not like norm enormously big, but it's definitely like it's definitely a big belly. Watching this dumpster fire called The Bachelor and right now. Something I have to eat cake to get through it. The great invitation and efforts to tear our relationship down, but to be honest, that only made it stronger. And I'm drinking raspberry leaf tea. It's very good for pregnant chicks. It's actually really tasty too. I was worried that like raspberry would be like sweet. And I don't like sweet tea. Like it, I think it's disgusting. This is like very like earthy and delicious. Okay, I'm grabbing the Skims stuff um, to check it out. And do you ever like pull it up on your phone? Cause like you forgot what you ordered. So that's everything that I ordered right there. Here is the little top. I'm gonna have to try this on for you guys tomorrow, but there's the little top. And this is like a little like long sleeve, like wrap and you know what's really funny is i'm pretty sure britney balin was wearing this exact top in her video today um in the same color so and then i also got the pants and the robe this feels really soft and it feels well made but hi joseph hi jojos the sizing looks a little questionable and you can't, this isn't a drawstring. So like these won't fit me anymore when I'm not pregnant. So um, what size did I get? Of course the, oh, I got large, extra large. I might need to exchange that for a smaller one. I keep um, buying bigger ones because of, you know, my belly and stuff, but this even looks like the medium would probably fit me while I'm pregnant. And then here is the robe. I posted on Instagram today and I was like, okay, if you see me in this robe, like Nick's working basically. <laughs> he hates my robes, but when I am giving birth, I could care less what he wants me in. I will be wearing whatever is comfortable. So, this is so soft. Oh, it's nice and long too. Obviously you're not gonna really be able to see this. I'll have to show you guys what it looks like on, but then there's, that's the robe. Um, it's really soft. I already said that. <laughs> oh, and then I've got the bandeau. I've been looking for a good strapless bra and someone recommended skims, but they don't have any strapless bras. They just have like bandos. So um, this is a large, um, this might be too small though. Like my boobs are pretty big. So uh, I can't believe this is a large, this is like not big at all. Like this looks like a, like a, maybe a medium to me, like small, maybe, maybe a medium, but is this, there's no, yeah, it says large, that's crazy. This Mara chick is literally crazy. So out of line, like she's speaking to her like she's her mother. I did want to show this to you. I did a little bit of research on prenatal vitamins and I ended up with this one right here from Amazon. It was decently priced and had amazing reviews. Um, and it's all non-GMO, uh, organic vegetables and herbs. So it says healthy baby and mom reduce nausea. Um, gentle and nourishing essential nutrients your body can recognize fermented and blended with organic superfoods, including tummy soothing ginger. And it has, um, folate in it, which some don't, which is like super important. Um, it's also got magnesium, which is really important. Zinc, um, and, um, riboflavin, uh, thiamine, um, and then some vitamin A, C, D3, E, K, etc. So I don't know if you're, if you're looking for a new one, this might be one you might want to check out. Um, 
Like it says, uh, gentle iron. Fermented iron helps transport oxygen to your growing baby and supports your body's increased need for iron during pregnancy. Um, fermentation makes the iron non-constipating and easy to digest. That's good. I'll link this for you guys in the description box below. How cute is this heating pad? It's like, you can use that side or this side. Oh, so let's turn this bad boy on. Yeah, maybe like a 10 right now. Woke up pretty early today. It's almost seven, I think, which is crazy because it still feels like very cold and like early. I'm watching some YouTube. But I wanted to show you guys a really cool diffuser that I got. I'll just put like a screenshot video of it on the screen right now. Um, Cause my battery's about to die. But this thing is so cool. I actually got this to, for my um, birth center. So when I'm giving birth, I can have this going in the room. But I think this is gonna be a staple on my bedside table as well. Like I love how it changes colors. And I'm, I, I love like aromatherapy and oils and everything. So, I mean, what bitch doesn't, right? So, <laughs> um, I really like this one. I'll link it for you guys below if you want to check it out. But it was really affordable. It was like 40 bucks or something like that. That was like the fastest, laziest blow drying ever. My hair is so flat. The reason I did it like that is because I'm going to get my hair done tomorrow, so I don't really care what it looks like right now. So I'm pretty excited. My roots are so freaking dark. Um, I'm in a loner car right now. That's why it's totally different than mine. I am heading out to get my nails done. We still have the, this car sounds like such a little bitch car when it accelerates. <laughs> um, Gosh, now I need sunglasses. The weather today has been raining and then sunny and then rainy and then sunny. I feel like I'm in Nashville. Uh, I am going to get my nails done and then I am coming back right away as soon as that's done. Hopefully I'm not late because um, I have our first appointment with a doula to kind of meet with her and just see like if we vibe and everything. Um, I chose her because she was on my birth center's list and her specialty is massage. So I was like, uh, this seems like a no brainer. So she's coming over and I really liked her because she was the first one that replied and read my entire email. Like one person replied and was like, so are you giving birth at home or the birth center? I was like, okay, well it does say that in my email and I just don't have time for that. So, <laughs> um, really liked this chick. And I'm trying to get used to like how to see everything out of this car. I also did another thing today. I applied for a short term rental permit in Nashville for my house there. I didn't have one and I was on Airbnb and VRBO and I got like a notice saying I needed to have one. So I sorted through all that and got everything together and sent that out today, which was kind of a bitch to get that all together. So luckily my files are very organized because I love my label maker and I love my office supplies. So it was very organized. So now just fingers crossed that it gets approved and whatnot because if not, I think I'm gonna have to move all of my things out of that house, put them in storage or something and rent it out to a tenant like long term, which I really don't wanna do because I love spending part of my time in Nashville. That is like one of my favorite things to do. However, I can't just pay two mortgages also. That's just not smart. So <clears throat> hopefully that goes through and everything is good. Um, this is what my nails look like right now. This is from the last time. You saw these in a previous vlog actually. So I've had them for like three weeks now. So they actually still look really good. Um, they're just getting a little too long and I wanna redo the design. So hopefully I'll have a time at a stoplight up here in a little bit to pick out a new design. I usually pick out like two or three or something and let her pick what she feels like doing. So I think that's what I'll do. But um, yeah, uh, I'll check in with you guys later. It's been a long night. I just got out of the shower and look how cute. Nick put this on my bedside table for me. He just got this, this, this is actually his um, socky container thing from dinner. And then you put a rose in it for me. So sweet. Here are my nails. They turned out super cute. 
Love them. Oh, my eyes are so puffy today. I just did the rabbits too. I'm like allergic to hay. But um, thank goodness we're getting this done today. <sighs> the window guys are here. I'm gonna show you <clears throat> what they're going to do today because it's going to make a huge difference. Are you all wet from Dwayne? You all wet from Dwayne. We gotta feed you breakfast, huh? The round window is getting installed here. And then here we are putting this tall, long window right there so that you can see some of the outside because I always felt like in the old pantry, it was just like a jail cell. Like it was so old, like 1986, and then there was just no light and it's such a beautiful view out there. So I was like, we have to have a window here. And it was like, really? Like that big? And I was like, yes, it needs to be big and long. So we got a big long window and I'm so excited for that to go in. Um, it's <laughs> hailing. What the hell? Too, so here. crazy. Hi. I think I forgot to show you guys before we started, but you already saw it earlier. What are you guys doing foils all throughout this bitch? Mm -hmm. I got two ladies on me at once. It's just <laughs> the way she likes it. <laughs> <laughs> Here it is. They just finished, look how blonde it is. Oops, sorry. You're good. Looks so good. It's so nice to have like fresh hair and bright roots. <laughs> what do you guys think? Um, these are view extensions, by the way. They're always linked in the bio of my description box. Check them out. And Jenna and Brooklyn are here in San Diego, in San Marcos. So if you want to get your hair done, I highly recommend. <laughs> Hi, Hi, handsome. So, so handsome. <laughs> Thanks for my beautiful hair, girls. You're welcome. You're welcome. So pretty. Look who surprised us and came home. Who's supposed to be working today? <laughs> you. Oh, mama pointed at me. I want to show you guys the windows. I got my espresso. That window is in. It looks great. Milgard, we had an awesome experience with. And then look how bright the pantry is. That's not because there's a light on. Oh my gosh, look at that. That is so awesome. Oh my gosh, guys, our countertops are going in today. Well, the island's getting done a different day, but. Look, they just put the countertops in right here. That's awesome. I'll show you guys the pantry. Look at that. Oh my gosh. So nice. We're getting some breakfast at Swami's. I can't believe we haven't been here before. Swami's? I thought it was Samson's. Sherman. <laughs> Sherman. Um, it's such a pretty day in Oceanside right now. Slappies. And then, Slappies. Slappies. And then um, we're gonna. What are we doing? We're gonna head down to San Diego to check out some faucets, pasta arms, and order an insanely expensive couch. So this is like the couch we're getting, but we're getting making this piece like three feet longer, and we're getting rid of the seams. So it'll be more like, and there's no example here, but there just won't be like, I feel like our child's gonna get all sorts of stuff stuck in here. So I didn't want any of those, but this is such a comfy couch. Oh, it's so comfortable. It's also cold. It feels so good. Is Piper for sale? Piper girl. We just got back home. We ordered our couch. It was $15,000. I'm like, mmm. That one hurts. But luckily, it's like the most comfortable couch Nick has ever sat on. So maybe I can get him to watch an entire movie. Also, every single piece of it is like a sport fabric. So it doesn't absorb like liquids, they roll right off. Amazing, protecting your investment. And then also every cushion and stuff you can. Hi, Joseph. No, you are not allowed. Mm -mm. You are not allowed on the counter. Get. Oh, mother. 
get down, kitty. Made me spill my water. He knows better, he knows. Um, you can also like uh, zip off the like every part of the couch and wash it and have it washed or dry cleaned or whatever. So that is like super, super awesome and key because I have a, a nice couch in Nashville. It wasn't $15,000, but it was expensive. And once the cushion is ruined, you have to buy a new couch. Like they don't have replacement covers, like you're screwed. And Nick just pulled up the motorhome into the driveway so that we can load it up. We are leaving to go to uh, Joshua Tree tomorrow. We're camping for the weekend with my parents and our whole group. So I'm very excited to do something. Um, and I'm excited to like, just get out of the house a bit. So you know white elephant um, games like around Christmas and you kind of almost never get anything good. Well, I got this and I'm really stoked on it. This is so cute to bring camping and you can do like four little ones or a large one like this and they're just like little egg bites. So it's perfect for camping and the color is adorable. So I'm pretty excited to use this. Good morning from Piper and I. Piper, say hi to the camera. Piper, right here. Look at the camera. Um, we are about an hour late taking off. It's 9.30, but um, you should have just seen Nick epically back this entire motorhome down our driveway. Very impressive. And apparently this is, um, had to come with us. I, I don't, I, I don't know. freaking day um let me pause this we couldn't get our slide to work out properly nick worked on it for like three hours and then figured it out um i feel like it slides in and out pretty good <laughs> it does the slide what are we talking about what are you talking about what are you talking about oh you perv i was just talking about <laughs> this alone. whatever Oh, we've got two candles lit now, okay. Um, so yeah, we went to dinner at this really, that really cool like saloon. And now we are retiring for the evening. We're gonna play some Jenga. too. I was looking for my next one. We just made a bunch of food and snacks. We're going to take jeeping with us. I think I'm going to try and see how my back does. Um, but yeah, we got like all the goodies and I'm kind of learning how much of everything to pack. So we need to pack a little bit more of some stuff. <laughs> um, Dad gave us this sweet cooler. <laughs> um, eight's my favorite number. It's his too, actually. So you ready? Mm -hmm. Are you ready, Piper? You're gonna stay here, honey. Look at all of them all lined up. <laughs> yeah. You look so cute. You look cute, too. Aw, thank you. <laughs> look at them you jamming the bridges. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> I did brush my hair this morning, so. <laughs> you at the Choya Garden. This is awesome. Sunflower, you're mine. Sunflower. It's 
Sunday and I am officially 30 weeks pregnant. <laughs> uh, the Jeep riding was super fun last night. I like didn't have any issues or pain or anything. I just was like, I don't know how great this is to be doing while we're pregnant. I'm pregnant. And then we aired down the tires and it was a lot better. So I don't know why you didn't do that from the beginning. We all know better. So um, Nick is taking Piper for a walk. And I think I'm going to use this thing that I showed you guys in a previous vlog, or maybe it was this one, I don't even remember. This thing is so freaking cute. And I had, we did a baked potato bar last night, so I have extra bacon, cheese, chives, um, bison burger meat, all the stuff that we had um, as our communal dinner kind of last night. Um, so look how cute this is. You can use this big one to make like a large, I got this as a white elephant gift too, which was super awesome because you usually get such shit gifts. Um, or you get these like little silicone, little egg bites, or you do this one, you can make like a croissant or something. So I'm gonna make these little ones since I don't have any, um, I guess I could do this with normal bread, but I'm gonna preserve that for sandwiches. So I'm gonna use these little guys. These kind of turned out burned, and I figured it would just be faster to just scramble eggs, so that's what yeah, I did. <laughs> it's cute. Maybe for I know, I like. You're talking to me. Oh no, I like this little thing though for making sandwiches. Like this would be good, but that was kind of a bust. We just closed up the motorhome, closed the slide. It's still not working properly. He has to like reset it. So I don't know what we gotta do about that. We gotta have someone to look at it, but we are taking off um, in a minute right now. I think Harlow grew overnight. I had heartburn for the first time last night, in the middle of the night. I had no idea what that even felt like. Um, it literally woke me up and I felt like I had, um, like swallowed like a tube of like m like menthol type like peppermint toothpaste like this was just like a hot cold sensation almost like icy hot all the way down the esophagus um it's very weird and i was like this must be heartburn i've never experienced this before <laughs> um so yeah we're taking off today i have to edit a podcast when we get home it's supposed to go up this morning and i just completely i don't know the past couple weeks have just been you know obviously i've just been a little like of a blur and then when i was here it just was checked the f out it got really windy today too i was actually gonna drive my motor home for the first time ever <laughs> but um it's pretty windy check it out so it kind of got like windier and windier and windier and all of our uh campmates have already left they're older and get up very early unlike us we are home i'm about to take a shower and wash my hair my back hurts as usual nick's out here cleaning the motor home let's see what he's doing what you doing well say goodbye to the vlog say we'll see you next week this is motherfuckers <laughs> uh.